Sorry to break it to you, but your dollar just isn't stretching as far as it used to. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, overall inflation is at 7.9%. But some sectors are seeing prices jump much higher than that, and some sectors aren't seeing much of a change at all. I talked with an economist, and he talked about the one industry that could give you an advantage if you're looking to switch up your career a little bit. So what that means is that today consumers can purchase about 2% less than they could a year ago. Your budget probably looks a lot different than it did a year or two ago. Economist Dr. Michael Jones says wages just aren't keeping up with inflation, fueled by supply chain issues, demand, and now a war overseas. It's primarily being goods relative to services. And these are used cars, new cars, furniture, food at home. All of those categories are above the average inflation of 7.9%. Services like healthcare and education is actually quite low. I looked at the Bureau of Labor Statistics Consumer Price Index Summary for February 2022. Here's a look at some of the key indicators and how much of a change in price the agency has seen in the last 12 months. It's primarily being goods relative to services. You can see used cars topping the list coming in at a whopping 41.2 percent. In certain sectors, some of the supply chain disruptions are being resolved, uh, but in a lot of cases, we're still seeing uh, pent up demand. Dr. Jones also says the drastic markup in home prices is also putting a squeeze on Americans budgets. And for sectors that can't meet demand, the only way to respond is to increase prices, similar to what the Fed is doing with interest rates. This essentially prices people out. They're no longer able to afford that new car. And as demand starts to drop because they, they can't afford the borrowing costs, then you're going to start to see those prices go down. Dr. Jones also brought up soaring oil prices, primarily because of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. He says this could be a bargaining chip for employees who'd like to work from home since wages are lagging behind. They're not having to commute into work. Uh, maybe now they're not having to worry about uh, child care, for example, uh, at least for part of the day. I think the other implication of work from home is that hopefully it will start to relieve some of the pressure on energy prices. Dr. Jones says he's also concerned about the price of food going up. He says with Ukraine and Russia producing large percentages of items like wheat and fertilizer, the war between the two countries could impact the agriculture sector.